Are you a content creator? Do you have a YouTube channel? Want to monetize, promote, and protect your channel from intellectual property theft? At a forever, we will monetize, optimize, and protect your channel, helping you earn better. We also offer you professional content management support guidance. Join our network today and enjoy our premium benefits. Contact us at mcnataforever.com.
This is a barrel. Please accept my condolences. I pray that God will grant you the fortitude to bear this loss. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Uh, Africa. Sir. I don't want to be disturbed for the rest of the day. Okay, sir. But, sir, what about lunch? Oh, <laughs> I had a feel of it today. She was so beautiful. Shining skin. Beautiful to behold. I think, I think you should take a bouquet of flowers to her residence. They, they must not only be pleasant to the eyes, but to the nose. Okay, sir, but who is she, sir? The widow of the deceased. Hello. Please, I have a message for Effie. Is she expecting you? Can I speak with her? You would only speak with her if she's expecting you. Well, I, I can't drop the message with you. I need to see her personally. Okay. 
Hello, madam. Je sais que c'est important, je suis jeune. Ok, ok. Thank you. Hi. Who sent you? My boss. Who's your boss? Dr. Ofo. There are thousand and one Dr. Ofo's around town. Can you be specific, please? Dr. Chike Ofo, the multi-millionaire neurologist. Ah. Okay. Can I come in? To show appreciation is to keep talking instead of whining like a little baby. Hi, Marabella. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. You've wow. grown big. What have you been eating? What do you mean I've grown big? I've been going to the gym every other day. Maybe you should give up that is not working. I mean, this is not funny. What do you mean I should give up that is not working? The gym. <laughs> It's decreasing instead of decreasing. Well, I can see you have completely. Hey, Marabella, it doesn't matter. You still look good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My oh. woman is the most beautiful woman in the entire world. <laughs> She's got this shape that even angels can't resist. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> I'm so lucky to have you. <laughs> I beat the angels in heaven on this one. She's your friend? No, oh, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, pardon my manners. This is my cousin, Zane. Zane, meet my love, Kiss. Hi, Kiss. It's a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure is mine. Okay, um, I'll just take advantage of the ladies while you guys take advantage of my absence to know each other better. Hi, <laughs> baby. What are you doing here? Catching up on old times. Old times? Yeah. You know I'm about to get married to your cousin. That is why I'm here to make sure it never happens. <laughs> Dog your own grave case. And you know what? You dog it very deep. Now get talking. It was not the first time I I got a bouquet from a man. As a matter of fact, I get it all the time. There was something about this bouquet that caught my attention. It wasn't just about the bouquet, but about the sender. I have a ten. 
for men at first in age. That was why I never got involved with any young man. What is amusing you? What is amusing you? The day we kicked off. I was doing a landscape drawing. In my usual spot. When he showed up. Looking like my next husband. 50 newspapers and 20 magazines will be covering the wedding. Hello, sir. Africa, what the heck are you doing outside there? Were you supposed to be in here helping out? I'll be right there, sir. Yeah.
I saw you looking at my wife. Do you like her? <laughs> no, my I, I don't. I mean, she's the wife. Yeah, <laughs> she's my wife. I am going to put a ring in that lovely fingers of hers. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> Same here. I'll be putting a ring on my fiance's finger by Saturday. That's two days from now. Yeah. Um, see. Excuse me, please. Yeah, Africa, right on time. Please give me a hand. Okay. Is that your name? Africa. Yeah, with a K, see, and H at the end. Is she your bridesmaid? Do you have a problem with that? I'm sorry. You. <sighs> Don't like it. If you don't want it, I'll have it. Wow, it's so beautiful. Thank you. I need a pair of dark glasses to tell. But I must say, you shine bright for the occasion, sunlight. Thank you. Africa, I need you to help me undress. You didn't see anything in the washroom, Africa. I did. Okay. As you walk out of this bridal shop, you saw nothing. My first responsibility and loyalty is to my boss. I have no misconception about that. Africa. As a matter of fact, I am more conscious of that the moment you spoke. But I am appealing to you 
as a woman. I love Chaik and I want to be with him. I was carried away by the kid in that washroom. Yeah, that's what it is. But I'll never see him again. I'm glad we have an understanding on that, Missy Effie. Dr. Fo loves you so much and expects you to be of good moral conduct always. Thank you for the advice, Africa. You can go out now. I'll call you when I need you. Baby. Yeah. Zen is taking me to Paracot tomorrow to get the shoes I told you about. Okay. No, no, baby. T tomorrow is Friday. And Saturday is our wedding. Yeah. I mean, we'll be flying to Paracot in the morning with first flight and coming back with um, evening flight. It's like driving from BGC to Ogba. Come on, sweetheart. There are a whole lot of shoes here in Lagos. Why you? I don't want. I wonder why you have to. Is taking me to a shop where they sell authentic Italian shoes. What happened in Nigerian stars? Baby, I am going to have this wedding just once. So, so you need to get the best for this glorious occasion, right? Yeah. <laughs> We met and had a brief kiss yesterday. Please hold. This is not Mrs. Obawa. Phone call for you, madam. Hello. Effie, how are you? Hey, quite a long time. The kid still haunts me. And I don't know how I'm going to have my wedding without seeing you for one last time. Are you back in the country now? From the way you are sounding, it's like the old man is around. Has he ever occurred to you that older men like him are my spec? The lips said otherwise. What can I do for you? Listen, I want you to meet me at Tienambu. It's a very cheap hotel. It's almost at the outskirts of town. It will take you like one hour, 30 minutes to get there. I'll be waiting for you there. Hi. Gift for Dr. Four. From who? Anonymous. Okay, thanks. I am sorry I can't. What? If you don't make it, I'll come find you. And I know you want to see me. Delivery for you, sir. Who is this? I don't have any idea, sir. What's that? Some girl warming her way to my heart. She's wasting her time.
Are you okay? You look worried. I need to be away for three hours. There's something urgent I need to trash out. The driver will take you. I'll take myself. can't find the ticket. Your wedding is tomorrow. Oh, please, allow me. We don't have time. The departure time is 30 minutes away and it will take us 40 minutes to get to the airport. So think we've been looking for this ticket for almost an hour now. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! You have to be very fast. What do you want? Money? Want you. Ever since I set my eyes on you, my life has never remained the same. I've married two husbands in four years. Both of them were over 60 years old. I didn't know that. So you're a professional gold digger or what? I am not. My first husband was a retired civil servant. My second was a retired police officer. I didn't marry them because of money. They didn't have it. <laughs> you didn't marry them because of love, Ada. I did. I loved them to you. I love Dr. For even more. He's my perfect kind of man. Really? Yeah. So why did you cheat on him with me? I've never had anything to do with a boy your age before. Even while in school, I felt comfortable in the arms of my old professors. So what are you doing with me then? I didn't know. But after today, I don't want to see you again. I want you. It's so sad. I didn't meet you earlier. Me too. It's surprising that I'm happy with you. <laughs> I am the first known guy you're dating. think about my wife. She's not your wife, sir. I beg your pardon. I mean, she's she's not your wife yet. Africa, I asked you what you think about my wife. She's a very beautiful woman, sir. Really? You think she is? And yet, you would hold information that can incriminate her? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. You do know that my wife is having an affair? I don't know. Africa, let's not push it. I love that girl and she is killing me slowly. As I, as I talk to you now, she is inside a boo hotel sleeping with a man. I shouldn't have listened to you. After all, there are 
shoe shops in Lagos. Are you about to put the blame on me now? No, but I took a foolish decision. Well, there's no use crying over spilled milk. Jeez, this word is so mean. What? Huh? Can you imagine a girl poisoning her own younger sister's drink just because of a man? Really? That's crazy. Huh. I'm so happy to have you. I mean, cousins like you are hard to find. My what? <laughs> I had a friend whose older sister missed her own wedding. She woke up three hours after the schedule time. What? How could she have missed her own wedding? It can happen to anybody, my Well, own. it will never happen to me. Let's get to bed now so that we can meet up with the 6.30 flight tomorrow morning. Give the phone to Maria Bella. Maria Bella is sleeping. Just wake her up and give her the phone. I need to talk to her. Is it urgent what you want to discuss with her? What kind of stupid question is that? Huh? Have you forgotten to this my fucking wedding day? Oh! We forgot! How is the place like? Are there a lot of people there? Zen! Zen! Give the phone to Maria Bella. I don't want to lose my mind. Sorry. She's sleeping. If you really want to talk to her, you have to come and wake her up yourself. Zen, I beg you in the name of God, give the fucking phone to Maria Bella. I really love you, kids. Why can't you just get the fucking phone to her? Give the phone to Maria Bella. I want to talk to her. Give the phone to her. Shut up. Church around here. I don't understand what's going on. Please, if you take me to the closest church around here, you will save my marriage. Marriage? Yes. Come on, come on, come on. What do you think you're doing? Shut up! Shut the hell up! I made you my maid of honor so that you can watch over me. Calm down, lady. Oh, whatever. Calm down, please. Oh, God. It's enough, okay? Oh, You're going there right now, okay? Come on.
that. Listen to me. Alright? Listen to me carefully. You can't carry on with that wedding. Are you getting me? You can't. Oh, see that? Where are you? I just went there. You were supposed to be there. Please, are, are you the pastor of this church? Yeah, that is a special person. Oh, thank God, thank you. I am, I am meant to get married today, but my man is in Lagos and the guests are waiting. So, why not take the next available flight to Lagos? Or was he meant to come here? No, the, the next available flight to Lagos is 2.30. The guests would have been in their house having lunch. Well, young lady, take heart. You and your um, spouse need to plan it for on that day. Pastor, please, I beg you in the name of God. I want to get married today. So I was wondering if you can join us together from here. Well, um, the spouses have to be physically present for the wedding to, um, you know. Pastor, that was the same thing Jesus said to the centurion. I will go and make your servants well. But the centurion said, Oh no, sir, I do not deserve to have you come to my house. Just say the word and my servant will be well. Say the word, pastor. I know you have the power to do this. And we shall become man and wife. Oh, he's calling me. He's calling me. He's calling me. Yeah, my fiancé. Hello? Hello, baby. Listen to me. I just want to ask you one question. Go ahead. Please, I'm listening. Good. Do you really want to get married to me? Yeah, with all my heart. Listen, baby. If we don't get married today, I'm afraid we will never be able to get married again. Yes, I know. I have a pastor here and he wants to marry us. To no, how is that possible? We we have to exchange kisses and rings. We will do all of that later. Yeah, baby. For some reasons, I am getting excited about this whole arrangement. We are going to be the first people who have ever done it. Okay, uh, is Zane there with you? Zane? Give Zane the phone. Let me find out from her if it's a good idea. Okay. Behave yourself. He wants to find out if it's a good idea. If you like, fuck up. Now you, Zen, what else do you think you can do to stop us from getting married? Huh? What else? Lose her! Give her back the phone. Give the phone back to her! Yes, baby. The next voice you're going to hear now is the pastor's voice. Okay, baby. And when Jesus heard what the centurion said, he said, I tell you, I have never found anyone in Israel with faith like this. What's your name, young lady? Maria Bella. Mm. Maria Bella. Yes, sir. I have never found any such love in the whole of Nigeria. Now, two of you, repeat after me. I. You say I. your name. I. Kiss Johnson. Maria Bella. Take. Take. Your kiss. Name. Take kiss Johnson. As my lawful wedded wife. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For richer, for poorer. In good health. In and good happiness. health. And happiness. For richness and prosperity. For, for richness, richness and, prosperity. and prosperity. For better, for life. For, for better, better for, life. for life. Till death separate us. Till death separate, separate us. us. So what about the rings? 
Rings. Oh, we will exchange that when I get the Lagos. Okay. The keys? Same as the ring. Um, I wish you the best. Now, you can come in and um, have to sign the marriage registrar. And do tell your husband to find time to come and sign his. Okay. Ah, oh my God! Oh, thank you, Mama! <laughs> <laughs> yes, baby! We are married! <laughs> okay, let's make a toast. So, oh, oh. Hold on, hold on. Before we make a toast, we have to finalize the marriage formalities. The ring. The ring? What? Give the ring to me now. I think you have to give the command here. Act like a pastor. But I'm not the pastor. Well, come on. All you have to do is just to say, you may now kiss the bride. I know you can do it, Zane. Come on, Zane. Okay. You may now kiss the bride. Thank you. Going on a date, Mrs. Effie or four. That name kind of sounded strange to me. Sounds nice, though. And thanks for the reminder. You're welcome, ma'am. In case you don't know the importance of the name you just called me, I would enlighten you. That name, Effie of all, gives me the authority 
to hire and fire, and that includes new and old employees. I know how much you love this job. As a matter of fact, your enthusiasm is phenomenal. So the next time you want to go about snooping on me, you better think about your undying love for your job. My undying love is not for the job, madam. Then, it is for my husband, because I know it is certainly not for me. Yes, for your husband. He is such a good man and a wonderful boss. The next time you sneak on me, I will fire you. It's a long story. I am here for you. I love the girl in my late twenties. We had something excellent going on. Until she left me for another man. I only got to know about it after her wedding. When she stopped visiting, I looked for her for three years everywhere until I was told she was married. Have you seen her since then? I saw her the third year. She apologized and told me she never loved me. Wow. Yes. I thought she loved me more than she loved herself. I believe she did. And all my actions were motivated by that assumption. It would have been very devastating. The only thing I had consoling me after all these years she left me was the fact that I thought she once loved me. She once did? No, 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 no. She said she never loved me. I begged her not to say it out, but she stood by it. I said, Selena, that was her name. The only thing I gained from this relationship was the fact that you loved me. And she said, that was a lie. She never loved me. Tell me more. I said to her, I believed you loved me. Don't let me stop believing that. She said, you can believe whatever you want to believe. I am sorry for leading you on. I never loved you. Some touching stuff, hmm? Since then, I never trusted any woman because I felt they were all vipers. 
Thank God I have you to prove me wrong. Do you trust me? I do. With all my heart. If I didn't, I would not be here with you. I will never let you down. You traitor. You promised and you failed. Who are you to judge? So, on the night of your wedding, you sneaked out to meet Kiss. Come with me. We have to elope. No, not now. I love you, Effie. I love you more, Kiss. God, where have you been all these years? What I have been, I've been around. I met the wrong people of my life. God, I don't ever want to be separated from you. Okay, let's go. I can't do this now. Don't you want to be with me? I do. Oh my God. Can we make it tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow is good. But that's my wife's birthday. You want to stay back for your wife's birthday? I want to stay with you. Okay, fine. I'll get a ticket to Dubai for both of us. 2 p.m. You will get a call from me and I will feed you with all the flight's details. At 4 p.m. I'll wait for you at Yellow Gate Bar. All right? Happy birthday, beautiful. Oh. Wow, oh. oh, this is so sweet. Come here. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you. I mean, you're the best man in the whole world. Really? Yeah. I freaking left my phone in the living room! Where's my phone?
Where's my phone? I don't know. We don't use it together. Listen, Africa. There are three of us in this house. And my husband is not in possession of it. I am not in possession of it either. She dared to hang up on me. I want her fired. She did that. She's fired. Yes? You know what? You're fired. So, I messed up my wife's birthday and I never hear from her again. Maybe you will never. A man like you deserves to die for sleeping with another man's wife. No. I will gladly die for falling in love. With someone's wife? I did not fall in love with her marital status. I fell in love with her. Interesting. Now tell me, little boy, how did you feel when the husband of the woman you have murdered entered your breakfast room? I thought it was high time we got to know ourselves better. I would have put a bullet through your brain if I didn't love my wife. But because I know how she feels for you, I was wondering how she would get the news of your death. So why don't you let me go there? Yes, that is why we are having this conversation. We want to ensure that you go in one piece. But you can't go with both. One piece and my wife. You must leave one behind. I love Effie. Effie is my wife! I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry this happened. I would have prevented it if I could. I know it is very difficult for you. But I, I am ready to pay ransom for my life. Effie is not a hostage. She deserves better. Fifty. William? What for? To walk away in one piece. And a special thank you from me for sleeping with my wife. And to say, it's enough. Please don't sleep with her again. You don't get it, sir. I would rather be dead. I want to make something explicitly clear to you. I love my wife so much that I would end the world for her happiness if I could. I am doing this on humanitarian grounds. Everybody deserves a second chance 
And I know that you did not force her to sleep with you. I am doing this to right your wrongs. What is your name? Last time I am going to have any negotiations with you. I am going to give you 60 seconds to take it. 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. shall remain here indefinitely until my wife learns to love me again. going to pass. This. The tears. The pains of marrying an old man like me. I know that you are a very beautiful girl and you deserve better. But uh, I love you dearly. Look, I am going to make you a proposition. Walk out of this marriage if you don't love me. If you don't want to have anything to do with me anymore. Why are you talking like this? I realized you stopped showing me affection right from the very day we got married. I, 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 
I didn't stop loving you. It's just... It's just that I, I am so preoccupied thinking about... thinking about things that make me sad. It will be fine. It will be fine. If there's anything I can do, please, don't hesitate to let me know. Sorry, I, I thought I didn't have it. I, I must have mistaken it for mine. You know, it looks exactly like mine. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. So can I have it now? Sure. Go into your room. Pick everything you have here. You are fired. You have five minutes to go into your room and pack everything you have here. Sorry, please, but I would love to hear from my boss. I am ordering you to go in and pack your things and leave this house. Now what? You want to beat me up now? Mm. Mm. Really? What is going on here? What is it? She is fired. And she has three minutes to pack her things and leave this house. Are you, are you really sure you want to go on with this? My decision is final. What are you waiting for? You've heard her. Sir? You are fired. Pack your stuff and leave. It's okay, she's gone. There is nobody going to stand in the way of your happiness. Thank you very much, sir. In my next world, I will still love to work with you. I need to go and rest my head. Africa, 
I hope you're not under the impression that I sent you away. You didn't, sir. Your wife did. I, I thought that you knew me very well. I do, sir. I do very much. More than you can ever know. Sir, I just, I just want to let you know that, that I, I understand. You do? Yes, I know you. I I know you very well. Sir, I've gone around with this in my hand for so long, sir. I... It will be all right. It will all be over very, very soon. I am going to win a lot back. And then we'll all be happy again as one family. <laughs> Africa. 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 Are you all right? Yeah, yes, sir. I'm fine. Good. Good. Go and get a nice hotel. Stay there for some time. I, I will see you tomorrow. Africa. I think. I think it is high time she saw him. Okay, sir. Good. What's this? A check. What am I going to do with all that? I need you to be happy. You don't have to stay if you don't want to be with me. Your body and heart far from here. And it is clear you think you made a mistake marrying me. I hold no grudges against you, hence the check. Feel free to leave whenever you like. Please don't go. I am not with you because of your money. I am not a money lover. It's true I've not been here since we got married. But that's because we kind of rushed into it. In a nutshell, you don't love me. I do. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I was really fond of you. Maybe I am getting to love you. Maybe I love you already. I don't know, but... Please, can you give me some time to figure it out? For real? You are such a beautiful woman, Effie. Are you having an affair? No. Why, why would I do a thing like that? I am happily married to you. Happily married? That's quite relative. Please, you have to understand. I do, perfectly.
I'm going to make this marriage work. Go on, I'm listening. Well, I've been married six months ago already. And that is why you're bitter about my marriage. I still have the ring of Bima who was supposed to marry me. One day, I will give it back to him. I wish you all the best. Billion people on earth that could understand that being married is, does not eliminate our five fundamental senses as women. When you are married, you become a woman. You are expected to conduct yourself as one. Maybe the society should put all married women in prison and allow only their husbands to see them. I wanted to make your marriage work. That's something happened. She's on her way. I called her first. Okay, sir. Is he very good? I'm sure he's very ready to receive his special guest. Uh, what about uh, Maria Pina? Where is he? Where the hell is my husband? Maria Pena. How did you know my name? Your husband is fucking my wife. So I thought it was a good idea for us to exchange notes. Wow, this is really getting interesting. Drinks? Sure. How could you? Champagne. Baby, who did this to you?
what you should say to it, your own eyes. Don't lose him yet. Don't try it. Do you get it? Can I speak with my husband alone? Please, I beg you. It won't take a second. Please. Go home. Go home immediately. We need to talk. I'm sorry. I'm sorry this happened. It's okay. I have some questions for you. Why did you marry me? Why? This is not the right time. Okay. For me, the home, right? Why is it releasing you? I don't know. I don't know. I need you. I need you to help me on this. You gotta help me. I need you to call, call the police for me. I have one more question for you. Why did you choose to elope with her on my birthday instead of being with me? I don't know. I just don't know. But I hope and pray you understand someday. Some people, some people spend their entire life without, without finding true love. I was almost like one of such people to I met Effie. Wow. Well, you love her, right? I'm sorry. Keep it to yourself. You need it more than I do. You can come home whenever he releases you. Maria Bella. I don't deserve to go back home. I would not.
It is over. I told you to remind me of an important question. I would like you to ask me when this is all over. It is now. Ask me. What is the question, sir? Will you marry me? If you, if you asked me this an hour ago, I know how you feel about me. You do? Yes. I saw your diary. I pried into it. I read your beautiful poems to me. I know that every night you come into my room and kiss me before you sleep. I know all that, Africa. I want you to give me the chance to outdo you. I have completely fallen in love. Please, please marry me. I will not marry you. Not when you beat women and almost kill them. I. Sorry, sir, but I can't. I can't. The next time you choose to come to me with your marriage proposal, make sure you've seen a psychiatrist and come with a paper to prove it. Good night, sir. I am not your real enemy. This is your real enemy. Why don't you confess to her what you told me? How you shared I'm sorry, Zane, but this is the moment of reckoning. You better start talking. I tried to stop the wedding. That was all I took you to Barakot. 
and hid our air ticket. That was why I dropped that juice so I could slip up and miss the fucking flight. You lost no food and never would be. All you did, you did it for yourself, not for me. I do not want to ever see you again in my house. You would have told me that you are in love with, with this idiot. I still love him, but he's a husband now. Seriously, we lost him. I'm a loser and you are a silly loser. I do not want to ever see you in my compound anymore. Get the hell out of my house. Just spend it. Dr. Chikofo, you are under arrest for kidnap, assault, and attempted murder. I am not pressing charges, officer. Okay. I thought I fired you. He's a good man. Child. I know how you feel about him. Hope I'll be a better. I'm sorry. Please. Hold on. Things I could gather, I will set whatever is remaining ablaze. It's so unfortunate. It is your clothes that will suffer such pain.
Alice. You need to be cured of stealing kisses from me when I am asleep. <laughs> 